Law enforcement rolled into the Ochetti camp just before 11 a.m. on Thursday. Some had been allowed to stay in the camp overnight, despite an eviction deadline passing. Akisa Melk was at the camp earlier in the day to support an elder making a stand for treaty rights. This land is supposed to be for us, you know. After all they've taken, this is all we got left, and we're fighting for it, you know, tooth and nail. And she stands for that. She stood for that since the 70s, you know. She's a veteran of wounded knee uh, occupation. And uh, I, 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 uh, I went there to go make sure that everybody stayed peaceful and prayerful and that, uh, you know, that nobody was hurt, you know, not on their side, not on our side. Structures were demolished. What was known as Facebook Hill was now covered in Humvees. As Ochetti was being cleared, many gathered across the river in Rosebud, also slated for eviction. They danced, sang, and prayed as a helicopter from the Department of Homeland Security flew very low overhead. Some started making their way across the frozen Cannonball River back to Ochetti. There, they faced down a small group of law enforcement. It was a tense scene. The singing had come to an end. Law enforcement started coming at the group from every different angle. Then they moved in. Only a few were arrested. No official word yet on how many people were taken into custody on Thursday. Police and authorities from many government agencies then created a barrier along the Cannonball River on the Ochetti side. Another new line drawn. This type of police reaction has come to be expected from those who have been on the ground here for months. What amazes me is the length they'll go to to protect this, uh, this pipeline. You know, they're harming people, people, their own people who are sitting there being prayerful and peaceful and not causing any harm, not approaching them, just sitting there praying. And they're spraying them, they're throwing grenades, you know, grenades or whatever you want to call them, concussion, flashbang, whatever. They're throwing these grenades at these people. Many believe this fight is bigger than a pipeline and treaty rights than clean water and it won't end because of another camp being lost. I feel like they're gonna uh, do whatever they can to remove us because we're thrown in their side. They're a reminder of uh, the world is watching and the world wants change. We're, ti you know, we're, we're tired of uh, seeing all these oil spills. You know, we're tired of treating humans like you know, they're illegal or whatever. I mean, everything, you know? It's, we're tired. We need change. Dennis Ward, APTN National News, near the Cannonball River.